Now mushrooms have got B group vitamins, they've got essential minerals, they've got fibre, they've got a wonderful flavour and of course they're low in kilojoules. It's no wonder that four out of five Australians really love their mushrooms. Now mushrooms live in their own biological kingdom, which means they're neither a fruit nor a vegetable. And it's this fact that has intrigued health professionals and researchers around the world. Three recent population studies have shown that women who consume an average of one button mushroom a day have got less than half the risk of breast cancer compared to women who have no mushrooms at all. Could it be something in the mushroom? Dr. Xuan Chen believes it is. My laboratory has this long-term interest in to understand how sex hormones play a role in breast cancer and uh, prostate cancer. So one type of drug now has become very important to treat breast cancer or so-called aromatase inhibitor. These are drugs that actually suppress the production of estrogen in our body. But through that mechanism, actually we can treat uh, breast cancer, which rely on hormone to grow. So in our research, then actually a lot of time to try to understand how this type of drug work. And the one question we did ask is the saying whether we can find the natural chemicals in what we eat in our diet actually has the ability to do that. So that's how we got into the uh, research on mushroom. Through that efforts, we actually screened probably seven to eight different types of vegetable and for its ability, you know, their ability to suppress estrogen formation. So among that, mushroom turned out to be one of these vegetable actually has that ability to do that. So, so we start off to actually do the laboratory work to understand how it works, uh, what are the chemicals involved, turn out to be some sort of fatty acid, and then we carry out the animal study to show the actual work in animals. And now we actually in the process treat the inpatient to test how it works. What we actually find in our laboratory then actually mushroom contain chemicals can actually suppress the estrogen formation. In both we so-called in vitro and vivo study, in vitro that's in this test tube in, in cell line. That's why in animals through feeding experiment we can achieve that purpose. So therefore then potentially it is possible through feeding or dietary intervention we can actually reduce the estrogen level, especially so-called postmenopausal women, that will be protective against this type of breast cancer. We always know that then by having uh, fruit and vegetable can help us, you know, fighting against various different type of disease. However, then a lot of time we don't really know how they work. So what we can say here then actually in mushroom, we do find such chemical can reduce estrogen formation. So at least we have so-called a mechanism based type of finding. So we actually know for work. So what we try to suggest that then we actually should consider including mushroom in our diet potentially can protect us. But obviously we do not recommend over eating them. From our mushroom study at this point, then we have learned several things. For one thing, then through its ability to suppress the estrogen formation, we thought then actually maybe protective against uh, breast cancer, especially those type of relying hormone estrogen to grow. So that's mostly happened in postmenopausal women. And on the other hand, then we also learned that then potentially in these chemical in mushroom can also help men to reduce the effect of the androgen, the male hormone. So therefore, maybe potentially will be very beneficial for men to fight against for prostate cancer. And the third area of finding then we actually found out that actually the mushroom intake somehow can actually reduce the lipid accumulation in the liver. So in other words, to also lower insulin, so-called a fatty liver. That obviously an important point that saying, we always say that the uh, dietary intervention is not a process to cure cancer. Uh, rather than reduce the incidence of the cancer, therefore maybe prevention or delay the onset of a cancer, but never really to take in the diet actually as a way to cure cancer because certainly the quantity in these diet in, for example, mushroom, not high enough really to treat the cancer. And also then I think the other important point that saying when patient has the disease, they need to work with their doctor they cannot act as a doctor themselves, decide changing their, you know, the, the, the drug or, or the diet, whatever. So it is a very important to keep that in mind. So again, the dietary intervention is really for prevention, not for treatment.